Hi, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and like and comment. This is my cruise vacation for the winter of 2020. I just wanted to share this with you because I wanted you to be able to take a cruise yourself and show you what cruising on MSC Meraviglia is like in the Caribbean. Here we are leaving out of the port of Miami, and it is a lovely evening, as you can see. And it's kind of perfect that this catamaran is going by that says Caribbean on it. I think that's pretty interesting. And it's just a really lovely evening out to the port. And you can see the beautiful Miami skyline. Going to the Caribbean in the winter is a lovely vacation to take. And it is safe and it's comfortable and it's really a luxurious way of traveling without having to worry about the hotels and how you're going to get from one island or a place to the next. It's really the way to go. And the food is fantastic. We booked this continental breakfast through Meraviglia online two days before we left on the cruise and all of this was $17.00 which is unbelievable and it was a fantastic um, thing. It was delivered, we scheduled it to be delivered the next morning at nine o'clock in the morning and this is what we got to wake up to. So it's really a fantastic morning for our first morning at sea. This is the first night at sea at the Waves restaurant on formal night. The day after we arrived in Costa Maya, Mexico at the beautiful port and we just stayed in the port and the first thing we did was get a massage. And in this picture I'm a little massage drunk and here we are also still a little massage drunk. This is a view from a bar that is on the second level that had swings for seating. The port of Costa Maya has tons of shopping and it's known for its shopping and sitting around next to the pools drinking margaritas. They have a bird sanctuary in Costa Maya and these are some flamingos that we saw. Here we are in Costa Maya and this is Mexico. in Mexico and this is why you own a tiny house so you can take a vacation and go places. Don't you want to take a vacation and go places? <laughs> we have this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is like a humongous, like, margarita we got. So we're in this lovely port. This is a beautiful port. And um, the ship, uh, Costa Maya port, is got these uh, pools. And uh, we're not going to swim. This is a little chilly. Not really swim weather, but I'm going to show you the water. It's lovely. If you own a tiny house, you'll have vacation time too. <laughs> Are you happy to be here? I am enjoying being in Costa Maya. Yes. Beautiful, it's sunny, it's a nice breeze. Tomorrow we're going to Belize and we're seeing uh, El Tinha. And the day after we're going to Rotan and we're going snorkeling. It's going to be a lovely vacation. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It's gonna be gorgeous. And he's been having this is his first cruise and we love it. I love it. Yeah. It's fantastic. Delicious food, beautiful cruise ship. This is dinner at Kaito Sushi, which is a specialty restaurant on the ship. That night we were dressed for the white party and we were going to watch a flamenco show in the theater. And this is the crazy white party that they have on the ship. And the Italians really know how to party. And you can see above the amazing LED screen that they have in this area, and it really lends to the party atmosphere. And people were holding up their phones, 
and using the lights like you do in concerts. We actually left a little early because we were a bit tired from the day. This is by far definitely the most awesome white party I have ever been to. Our next stop was Belize City and El Tunja, which is a Mayan temple in Belize known for its Jade Head, which is nine pounds in weight and is generally kept in a bank vault in Belize City. The complex has many temple structures. Weather permitting, you are allowed to climb two of the tallest structures at the site. This is the structure that had the jade head in it, in the block part at the top of the structure. This is a view from the top of one of the tallest structures. We are in El Tunja and we are looking at some Mayan temples. And these were actually the residential structures she was saying? The one right behind us over here. That oh. was the residential structure. And then uh, these others you know, to the right and to the left were of the Mayan uh, chieftains. And the one behind Maggie there was where the uh, large jade head was found. This is a view from our balcony looking at the sunset after leaving Belize. So we are in Rotan right now, Honduras, Rotan, and it is gorgeous. Most gorgeous coral reefs I have ever seen. And we are, um, <laughs> this guy's hawking. Uh, bracelets just came by and was hawking bracelets. Every couple minutes, somebody's by. Yeah, every couple minutes. And yeah. Necklaces. Kids, uh, everybody. Everybody's like hats. This guy's walking by, hawking hats. Um, There's a guy with a monkey selling pets. Yeah. The petting of his monkey. Yep. <laughs> yeah. If you, That's my monkey. You have to pay him if you want to pet the monkey or hold the monkey or anything with the monkey. <laughs> and. Um, so the, this water is amazing. There's so many things, uh, so much coral here, and it's one of the most accessible um, coral gorgeous reefs. Gorgeous schools of fish. Yeah, gorgeous school, schools of fish. And that, that we swam with. Yeah, that we swam with. It was really cool. And they also have, um, the reefs are accessible right off the beach, which is unusual. I think the only other reef that's accessible off the beach like this is um, something in Australia, like Maybe the great, uh, Barrier Reef. I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure, but that's the only other one in the world that is accessible off the beach. So if you ever come to Honduras, uh, come to West Bay Beach, um, and um, you should probably get a package. Uh, try to go towards the end of the island, and because that's the southern end. The southern end, and is it or is it the western end? Uh, well, it's the southwestern end. Southwestern end, and go to the end as far as you can, and, um, and there's like this wall, and where that wall is, right out front of that, is the uh, where the reef where starts. the reef starts, and you can just walk out there. You don't need to pay to have someone take you out snorkeling. Um, if you have your own snorkeling gear, uh, you're all set to go. And uh, definitely, it's a wonderful experience, isn't it? The water is gorgeous. Yep. Warm, blue. Yep. Tons of fish. Uh, we saw eels, we saw jellyfish. Yep. Lots of jellyfish. I saw like 10 jellyfish or so. Uh, yeah. You didn't see the jellyfish really. I, 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 didn't I see saw the jellyfish. There was a lot of them. There's a lot of jellyfish. Um, but I mean, they were only little. They were little. They were like this big, but. But they were by the surface. Yeah. And that was, my focus was down deeper. I, I don't. I mean, I think they might have touched. One might have touched me, and it just slightly stung a little bit. But I didn't really even notice it, to be honest. I don't think they cause. They're much of. They're that dangerous here. I think they're pretty uh, innocent. But maybe it's the variety. Yeah. But um, great beach. Come here. You won't regret it. Press the gun, press the gun.
And this is um, rotan, and there's some coral that is right here on the under, other side of the ship. It's so close to the ship. It's kind of wild to me how the ship can get in and out of here. Maravilla, Maravilla is such a good, sh huge ship, and there's this guy down here and he's painting stuff. And this is, they're always doing stuff on the ship, I noticed. There's some guy working on something over here. And uh, this is a beautiful island. It is, we almost had this issue where we couldn't get back to the ship because our driver left us. But we did get back on the ship. Someone else brought us back, but that was not cool. Uh, I paid out like 20 bucks to this other driver that took us back. And it was like five people. It was not cool. But we made it back on the ship and I feel much better now. Here we are leaving Rotan, and we'll have a full sea day before we end up at the next place, which is Ocean K in the Bahamas. An image of the back deck of the ship, and a beautiful, gorgeous sunset. We are at sea going to Ocean Key, and this happens to be a very smooth, calm day on the ocean. There's absolutely no waves, and it's very smooth and beautiful. And I think the wind is actually from the boat moving, but not from the wind on the ocean. Here is off the back of the ship, and you can feel the power of the ship and hear it. It's been a lovely sea day and you can see us here off the coast of Cuba and a lovely calm view from the room. And here is Ocean Key, which is a new island that is owned by the cruise ship. They've decided to make it a marine reserve. And here Christo is drinking a beer from the Bahamas called Blackbeard view you can see the lighthouse and the ship together on Ocean Key. The lighthouse actually has a bar at the base of it with a lovely view of the ocean surrounding it. Are you videoing? Yes I am. <laughs> you are so naughty. <laughs> This is an evening view of the ship from the island. And we were walking around at night on the island. Because the cruise ship owns this island, we didn't have to be back on the ship until 10.30 at night. However, we did get back on the ship before that time. We got off the ship in Miami in the morning, but we didn't have access to our hotel room until 4 o'clock. So we rented a beach cabana and hung out on the beach until 4 o'clock. This was the end of our cruise in Miami Beach, and we are having dinner at this place called Jalapenos. This is a view of the beach and all the lights on the palm trees. And there were these neat fires that they had around to keep people warm, and they had hookah pipes at the tables. I hope to inspire you to take the vacation that you deserve, and I'm going to leave some links below in the description of recommendations I have for really inexpensive cruises. Thanks for watching.